Okay, so Tom, this one's for you since you like more of a vlog style. So um, anyway, first of all here is gonna be what I use as a warm-up section when I come to my parents' house. So I do this section, um, just no clutch use at all, um, just on the throttle and, and using, uh, trying to use proper form. So here's this section. So we'll come through here. Yes, that is horse manure to the left, uh, which is cutting into the corner, so it's gonna make it a little bit harder. Uh, I'm gonna come back around here, through here, around through here, back over here, up and over this little mound, which become less of a mound, and turn tight in here, and again, up and over this mound, and out. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna come up over the log here, do kind of a little punchish thing over top of it, make the corner here, we'll come up over the hill, try to do a little float off of it, come down, and we'll come around here, hit this log, I'm gonna put the front tire on top of it, try to ride up it just a little bit, then I'll pop the front tire off, and then do like an RSG kind of blast up the hill here. So I'm going to try a bit of a static punch over this. I guess you call it static punch. I mean, here in America, we say a static zap, but zap, punch, interchangeable words. So we're going to try that from a stop, try to hop up on top of the log and come off without, you know, breaking ourselves some way or the other. See how it goes. So this section, uh, some of you guys saw maybe last week I posted a video where I was doing the double log. Uh, so I'm trying to recreate it here. Uh, the logs are a lot smaller here, but to kind of compensate, I decided that when I land on the uh, second log, I'm going to try to do a little bit of punch technique over. So yeah, something kind of like that. So this next one, I'm doing the same thing, but I'm going to just uh, slip the clutch, get a little bit uh, higher RPMs first. You can see, kind of keeps me uh, front end a little bit higher on that one. This last one, it took me several tries to get right. But this last one, I went ahead and just hopped over and then tried to stop on the rear tire on the log and balance. And yeah, that was that was pretty hard, but it was a lot of fun to finally get. Okay, so this section. This is a pretty hard one, so I'm going to put the front tire on the log, float over, stop, and then go over that log. Uh, I failed a lot of times. Here's an example of that failure. And most of the time it was from carrying the front end too long, not floating over far enough. And then by the time I landed, you can see I'm too far to get the float over the second log. So here's one more time, getting it right. Uh, definitely kind of technical, a lot of balance there. there. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, a little rough on the uh, yeah. end part there, but yeah. Okay, so that's it for this video. Next video, I'm gonna do a little how-to on how to get unstuck from this log if you find yourself in the position that my bike is in right here. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, keep your feet up and I'll catch you all later.